these beaches, it's hard for people to even get there. And with tourist season well underway, businesses nearby say they need help now. Dredging starts next week at Blind Pass, but we found out today that the sand they pull out of the pass can't be used to nourish the nearby beach. NBC2's Lauren Despierto is live to explain why. First, it was Tropical Storm Isaac, then Sandy came through the area. Now, in the past two weeks, people say things are getting even worse. I'm five foot four, shorter than the shelf that's developed that you have to climb down to get to this beach. Erosion is reshaping Sanibel Island's blind path, taking with it much of what the vacation spot is known for. They come from around the world, and they're expecting to see pristine beaches. They want to see the shells. And right now, we don't have a beach for them. Returning visitors drive Carol Williams' business. Her beachfront cottages book up every busy season. But now, she's worried about next year. What about the tourists that say, I'm not going back because the beach wasn't as I was expecting? Watching guests struggle to get what they came for, Williams and others are now searching for ways to bridge the five-foot drop. It doesn't look to be like a huge thing to do, but just that type of thing would make a big difference for all of our guests here. What sounds like the easiest fix may not be. Williams wrote to county leaders asking whether excess sand from next week's dredging project could fill in the beach. The answer, not likely, because staff says that would cost thousands more and delay the work. If nothing happens, we've lost nothing. But someone might just listen to our pleas. Now, this pipe is part of that dredging project that is set to get underway on Monday. Tomorrow, we're told some of the tourism leaders from the county will come out here to inspect this damage and see if there are any other solutions they can find. Live on Sanibel Island, Lauren DeSpirito, NBC2. Florida Power and Light is taking...